All right, so what I want to take a look at right now is getting started with working with CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And in Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver makes it very easy for us to write our HTML and also to write our CSS. So here we're looking at an image, our first page of our site. We've set, I've set a background image, and now I want to set and create um, a container that's going to contain my header for my site and also um, my nav bar and the body of my site. So here it goes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, begin by creating a header for this site. Okay, so I'm going to come on in and I'm going to open up two panels right now. I want my insert panel and I want my um, my insert panel and I also want my CSS styles panel. Now my, my CSS styles panel is here and my insert panel is already opened. Okay, so right now everything is grayed out and that's because I have live click. So if I unclick live, you'll see now we can see everything again. Okay. All right. So we come into the common, our insert panel, and we have common and layout. And in both of these, we'll see insert div tag. I'll just come to common because that's our first one. And these are a lot of the common ones that are used. We're going to hit insert div tag. Now I'm going to build this site. I'm going to build a container. And then inside of the container, I'm going to have my header, my nav bar, and I'm going to also have um, the body. All right, so I'm going to give it the name container, and I'm going to say this is a new CSS rule. Now I have two choices. I can say it will be the ID or the class. We're going to just focus on ID and class right now. This is what this means. What's the difference between ID and class? You use ID if you will only have one of these on the page. So for instance, on this page of my site, there will be one container, one header, one nav bar. Okay, so I am going to use ID for for uh, for these. If it was something like box, let's say I was putting in boxes of images, image box, and I was using four of them, then I would use um, then I would use class because you see when you hit class, it says that it can apply to any HTML element. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I'm going to give this the name, or name container. And what I want to do is I'm going to actually create a style sheet. I'm going to hit OK. What will happen is Dreamweaver will help you say, OK, now you need to create a style sheet. So I am going to name this .css. Okay, and the CSS will be created for you. Um, dot CSS. So I'm going to say OK, and I should then see it, and hopefully I did this properly. I should then be able to see it. It will be in my files panel. I'm going to check in a minute. Okay, the next thing that happens is this window comes on up. And again, I can set what I want here. I want to use this Georgia font, and I want to set a background, and I actually have a little image that I created. And this is my background image that I created. It's 1,000 by 900 pixels. I'm going to say open. Um, and I'm going to come to my box here. And I'm going to put the box at 1,000 and the height at 900. Now, again, these can all change based on what it is that you're using. I set it at 1,900 um, because that is the size that I created for the background image. I could also come in background and I could set a color. Okay, so there's a lot of different things that you could do. I could work with uh, repeating this. I could work with the attachment, make it a fixed or make it scroll. Um, and I'm going to just leave it that. I'm just putting in my simple old background. Now I'm going to come on in. I set the box to the size 1000 by 900. And I want this to center on the page. So I'm going to actually put all four of these to auto. What will happen when it's at auto, the blue box, actually the image, and it's a blue image that I've created, will be in the center of the web page. So I'll hit apply. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit OK. And here it is. Let's actually preview it. I'm going to hit live to preview it. 
and here is my image. Make it a little bit smaller, but I can see that this is what I have so far. Okay, now what I want to do though is come back in, um, get out of live view. So I'll hit live view again, and I'm going to go to split, and I want to actually get rid of um, content for ID container goes here. That is gone, um, and there we have it. Thanks so much. There we do. We just created our first page. But actually, before we go any further, what I want you to do, what I want to do is come on in. And the best thing that we want to do is we want to keep all of our CSS on one page. So I come on over to my CSS styles and I can see that as I click on to here, this is what I have. Um, and I should be able to see where it all is attached to because I created my CSS sheet. So there's my CSS sheet. Let's come to all. And we can see we have pclinks.css. Now, some of these, these rules that I did for the body, which were the color of the font and the font family, and also setting the background are just attached to this page. All the ones that are just attached to the page will be under style. So I want to move these two. So I'm going to shift click these two rules. I will control click on the Mac, right click on the PC, and I'm going to say move CSS rules, and I'm going to move them to my CSS sheet. I want to keep all of my rules on their CSS sheet, and I will hit OK. And there we have it. I will end there. Thanks for listening.